Well, Sean, uh, just quickly before we start talking about Palace, how's your squad shaping up from the weekend? Any injuries or any knocks? Well, I think, you, I think every manager in the football league with Saturday, Tuesday games, you you know, you know, you, you have the usual bumps and bruises which you've got. Um, so we're just seeing how they shape up today. Um, conventional wisdom is you don't train people 48 hours after a game, and yet mm. we've got a game tomorrow. So uh, one or two will will um, will sit out uh, this morning, mm. um, but whether or not that'll 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 mean they won't be considered for um, for Tuesday. We won't, we won't know till tomorrow. Okay. Um, Crystal Palace, Ian Holloway. I mean, famously, when he was Blackpool manager, changed eleven players against Manchester United because he had a bigger game coming up at the weekend. Do you anticipate him doing something similar with a, a Capital One Cup and then a big game at the weekend? Um, I think he's got the options too. Mm. That's, you know, I don't think we have we have those options. So he's, he has got the options and. Uh, um, he's got experience of the of the Premier Division, of what what his squad will will need, you know, not just this month, but the the, the coming months. So I think he's going to have to look at it and be practical about it. Um, you know, it's early part of the season, so you know he might want you know his squad um, to get some more game time. You know, they've got Sunderland was it five thirty kickoff yeah. on Saturday, so he's got a little bit of leeway. Uh, it, it's it's one of those. It's um, I don't think you can second guess it. I think you've got to prepare for for Ian to bring his uh, his full strength team out, and I'm sure there'll be one or, one or two changes. But I'm, I, I can't envision his eleven. Does it make it difficult not being able to predict his team? Say if it was further down in the season, you you could sort of pick who would be his eleven or near enough his eleven. Well, you'd, you'd like you know I think everybody would like to know the, the opposition's lineup before they before they play. But I'm you know I think Ian's way of playing is is been. Documented, and uh, I don't think he's ever going to change that. No matter what type of team he, p he puts out, they'll be attacking. Um, you know, they'll play with uh, uh, a front three that will be really mobile. Um, you know, and they've got they've got a, a quite a good core. You know, that have been through a difficult championship season, and uh, he's kept faith with them. So I'm sure they'll be. Uh, you know. They'll be looking forward to the Premier Division and, and want to play every game. So, um, um, from the players' point of view, I'm sure they don't want to be arrested. They want to play. Mm. Um, but like I say, he's, he's got to look at the bigger picture. Yeah. You, you on the flip side say you can't make raft amount of changes. In an ideal world, would you? Would you make big changes for a, a league cup? Type? No, you'd like you'd like a squad that's strong enough that you know you could put like for like in. You know, because you you, you really need to. You know, they'll have 18, 20 players that that are all vying for a first team place at the minute we we don't really know what our best team is and we're still you know in some senses experimenting one or two things um, so this is be another game where we look at it and go well you know what's the best team to, to, to play this particular match how long do you think that will take to you know roughly what your your best 11 is there um, it depends what you know how we strengthen the squad I think we need to strengthen the squad. I think we're, like I said, we're from a defensive point of view, we're, we're quite lightweight. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, we lose one forward. You know, we lose Sam Baldock, and then yeah. really the only other out and out forward we've got is young Wes Burns and, and Marlon. You know, uh, uh, you wouldn't class uh, Jay Manuel as an out and out forward, although he's done really well in that department for us. So, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a squad, we're. Um, we're not as strong as we should be. James O'Connor and Nicky Shaw, are still with you? No, they're, they're, I, you know, I spoke to both boys, and if we can't, if we can't do a, you know, if we can't come a, to some sort of agreement, then, you know, Nicky, Nicky's a seasoned professional, so, um, and I'm, I've known James quite a long time, so they're, 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 nothing, they're not new to us, so, um, the talks are ongoing, but like. Um, you know, we, we didn't really want to work with a, a game Tuesday. This is a bit of a broken week. So um, Jimmy's back with his with the respective club, and I think Nicky's still got one or two other options. He uh, he needs to see if they uh, materialise. So, so, so to clarify, neither are dead as as such. But at the moment, you're just sort of waiting to see if you can do a deal for them. But you don't need to see him anymore, presumably here. No, I do. To be fair, they were here, but. but I'm, Jimmy's with obviously with with a championship club, and you know, 
was all talking to them to see what uh, what they want to do and um, and talking to the player, you know, because I'm, I'm sure Derby, if he's not involved, would like to would like to move him permanently off the wage bill. Um, I don't think that's an option for us at the minute. Okay. Um, obviously, the transfer window next week. Uh, do you anticipate signings coming in? Do you hope to have signings coming in, or are you still looking at that loan period after it? Well, if you're going to get loans in, that they're going to take you through to January, then you need to get them in before the window anyway. So yeah, right. I think I think we have to look at it, and uh, I don't really want to be pressurised into just doing something because the loan window shuts because we have an emergency loan system. Um, yeah. But yeah, if somebody comes up and that we've targeted and, and we can do a deal, then we'll hopefully we can do it. Could be a busy time before the derby then. No, it's, a, it's not busy because you sit around waiting for phone calls, so it's yeah. it's tiresome more more so than anything else. So I wouldn't call it busy um, because when you when you're trying to do any sort of deal, and I'm sure Premier Division mar managers who who know <coughs> um, who do deals with not just first and second parties but third and fourth parties um, find it find it difficult as well. There's al there's always there's always a problem. There's always something. Um, nothing's ever straightforward in football. So, uh, you know, when you think you've got something over the line, something usually comes up and uh, uh, and puts a spanner in the works right at the last at the last minute. So I know that you never, m like most people, you just want to keep your cards close to your chest and announce something when it's yeah. when it's almost there, rather than speculate.